the Dogma News. I'm Lexi and this is Macy. This week we have several announcements. Congratulate the volleyball team for being the Oklahoma Class 4A Volleyball State Championship runner-ups. They played an outstanding game in the finals. We are very proud of you. Services Vocational Aptitude Battery is the most widely used multiple aptitude test battery in the world. As an aptitude test, the ASVAB measures your strengths, weaknesses, and potential for future success. Your ASVAB scores determine what jobs you will qualify for in the military. That this test will be given at Cash High School, November 15th, administrated by military personnel. We were able to talk to the students who made Honor Choir this week. All Region is an Honor Choir comprised of just the Southwest schools in the Oklahoma State. The next level up is All State, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's the entire state of Oklahoma, um, kids in high school are competing to be in an Honor Choir. It's highly competitive. I have seen kids go into the audition room and sing their music perfectly and not get in. It's that, it's that competitive. So these students that are about to take part in these auditions, there's two rounds of auditions. If they get through round one, they're going to take a trip to Edmond and sing through round two. And if they make it, they'll be taking a trip to Tulsa for the All-State Festival. And they get to stay overnight for a couple days, and they have to rehearse all day long, and then there's a concert at the end of the week. So it's a very big honor to make it in because it's so competitive and difficult. And so um, these girls, um, I had two make it last year, Alicia Alvarez and Holly Johnson, and they are auditioning again. So hopefully we have more than just two this year. And so they're working really hard with private teachers and myself and by themselves. And so it's a really big deal if they make it in. to be performing uh, four numbers. One of the Diamonds Are Our Girl's Best Friends what we're working on today. They're performing another number called Steam Heat. Uh, Don Cushane is the boy's song. It's an old song from, I believe, the 60s. And then Forget About the Boy, which is a song from Thoroughly Modern Millie, the musical. And uh, they'll be performing that December 16th. It's a Tuesday at 7 o'clock in the auditorium is the choir concert. So they'll be performing along with the honor choir and the next choir in that concert. So if you guys want to come see it. Miss Salcedo's class is collecting tabs for aluminum cans. We interviewed a couple of students about this. So what class is collecting the tabs? Uh, the alternative ed class. And who are you collecting them for? Uh, the Ronald McDonald Foundation. When are you taking them to the Ronald McDonald like House? Like next semester sometime. And do you know what they do with them when they get them? Uh, just to help the kids like with diseases and stuff. Like they're just help them get better. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Durrell has some nice equipment and programs that he's using in his classes. We went to talk to him and have him show us some of the tools. Hi, my name's Mr. Durrell. I'm the Ag Ed teacher here at CASH. And what I'm going to show you all today is I'm going to show you one of our neat toys here at the, uh, up here at the Ag Building. Uh, this is a CNC machine. What this machine does is it will receive an image that we make through a drafting software or CAD software and it will actually cut it out of steel. Um, we have the capability of cutting just about anything you can imagine out as long as it's a two-dimensional object. And uh, just for time's sake and for lack of the program working the way I want it to, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what this machine will do. If you notice here on the computer, I have plotted out a simple arrow. Uh, and the way this machine works is it's just like a graph. It operates on an X and Y axis. And it, after you plot these coordinates out, or this image out, it's transferred to coordinates, and it tells it which way to move, left and right or up and down. 
And uh, the actual torch itself is a plasma torch. It uses a combination of electricity and air um, to actually cut through the metal and make the image you're going to see. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes well, cross your fingers, uh, we're going to cut out an arrow. Should we put our goggles on? Yeah, you want to put your goggles on. Was we took this image that was on this screen and we cut it out of steel. Uh, we've done everything from artwork, and it's hard to tell. You can see some of the cutouts we've done. Uh, this was one we messed up on, but the other one we did was right. I don't know. If, can y'all tell me who that is? John Wayne. It's John Wayne. Yeah. We cut out a picture of John Wayne's face with this torch. We've done names. Uh, we've done all kinds of different pictures. We've done signs. Uh, the, 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 the opportunities and the capabilities are really just limited by your imagination. And our goal up here is to expose students to this technology and maybe broaden their horizons to understand that we're not just up here to weld two pieces of metal together. We, we now have the technology where we can fabricate anything. Um, do you have any questions? A typical piece of metal like this, this is a four foot by eight foot sheet of metal. Uh, it's sheet metal that is about an eighth of an inch thick. This machine can cut metal up to three quarters of an inch thick. Um, but for pieces of artwork like this, this is the ideal material we use. It costs about 80 bucks a sheet. This machine itself, uh, if you were to go buy a machine like this, it's not an industrial grade machine, it's kind of a hobby machine. They're going to run somewhere between $15,000 to $20,000 for the machine and the torch itself. We didn't just get this overnight. We had, a, we had to raise a lot of funds and spend a few years and not spend them as much. And uh, we were able to raise the money to use this machine. Uh, we've cut out other things in here. Uh, we have a capability of making pieces of metal that small. There's a number four. Um, we can cut things out pretty accurately. Seniors, if you have not taken your senior picture at Blunt's or complete the questionnaire for the yearbook, please do so as soon as possible. Don't forget about the three-on-three -three basketball tournament for the fifth and sixth grade building. They are raising funds for playground equipment. Tonight is senior night. Don't forget to come out for our last home game. Support the football team. And while here, we got some videos from Miss Kirby's journalism class. Otis Spunkmeyer cookies are coming back to Miss Hewitt's room next week. Hi, I am Nicholas Gonzalez. And I'm Lindy Dameron. And this week is Cancer Sport Week at Cass High School. Each day, a student wears a certain color to represent a certain type of cancer. Monday, students wear yellow to represent bone cancer. Tuesday, students wear gray to represent brain cancer. Wednesday, students wear white for lung cancer. Thursday, students wear orange for leukemia. Friday, we wore pink for breast cancer. Let's take a look at how Many students participated in Cancer Support Week at Cash High School. Cancer Week is a great way for us as a school to show support for the people that are suffering with cancer or they've had cancer and just to bring awareness to different types of cancer. So hopefully people will uh, be more proactive and do things like donate their time or their money to research. Support cancer in any way or support the research of cancer, especially since we're affected through Mr. Holland um, with him being in leukemia. So we're Student Council is planning to do more things concerning that and supporting it. Or it means that like we show the people that are going through cancer and everything like we're showing them support and encourage them that they can 
finish and beat the cancer and give them courage and help them. Supporting cancer, you know, bringing you know, care for it and everything like that. You know, I have a few relatives that have, that, that have cancer. Great thing for me. Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but we wanted to make sure that we hit on all realms of cancer, not just specifically on breast cancer, because we had multiple people at the school that have been affected by a different cancer from a family member or something like that, or a friend. And we wanted to make sure that they were involved as well. And this has been Cancer Support Week at Cash High School. Thank you for watching this episode of Dog One News. <laughs> oh. Bro, I pushed it a long time ago. <laughs> she said ready, I, I was like waiting for you. I was like, I didn't know. Put it you got swag today. <laughs> Look at What's you. up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got the new style coming out. <laughs>